What's up guys? I am back with another Transformers V review. Sorry it took so long for another video. I just been so busy at work doing 12 hour days. Gotta love it. So again, what could you do guys? What could you do? So today we are back with another review and we are doing the Masterpiece MP20 Autobot Wheeljack. And there he is in his nice Lancia Stratos Turbo. So, yeah. Very cool looking car. Very G1 color scheme. Very awesome. So, yeah. Do want to thank a good friend of mine for getting me this figure a while back while I was doing other, the Combiner Wars reviews. I'd like to thank Timmy. Thank you, dude. You rock. Two thumbs up, dude. So, and also, if you guys were checking my Instagram out, I did post pictures of Masterpiece MP24 Star Saber and he will be coming soon soon as I can have room for this mammoth guy to open him up and yeah very awesome figure so yeah not another figure from Timmy so two more two more thumbs up so and I said does come Wheeljack does come with his nice nice instructions and the little thingamabobber for a contest I do believe and comes with extra mirrors there's a mirror in there I lost one mirror because I went to transform and it popped off I could not find it so I'm leaving the mirrors off on this guy they don't stay in well on my figure for some odd reason but again what could you do so you get the the product instructions and you get the nice MP20 collector cars Cybertron mechanical engineer wheeljack Flip around to the back, you got a whole bunch of stuff I cannot read, and there's his robot mode and vehicle mode with his tech specs. Very awesome. So, set that off to the side. And I did get the one with the, I do believe, the Hypno, Hip, no, uh, I can't even say it, Hypno device or something. But I was calling it a lunchbox because he was, a lunchbox or a toolbox or something. I was trying to tell Tim, I was like, it's a tool toolbox he's like I don't know where it's at <laughs> so it's the hypno device or whatever it's called I thought this would pull apart but it's screwed together so you get one of them you get his nice little silver pistol and you get his his shoulder cannon and you get the figure itself <laughs> very nice paint job going on with him too so enough of that let's get to the packaging scoot all that stuff back to the side Transformers Masterpiece, Lancia, Stratos Turbo, Takar Tommy. Very nice. I do believe they did have another version of him, the Decepticon version, Exhaust. And he is very hard to get now. You're paying over two to $300 or more for him. Just for a, a deluxe size Masterpiece that we we're getting here for about 90 bucks in the U.S. Uh, he, hello, what's going on here? But again, what could we do? What could you do? So come on the side, you got nice, nice box art going on there. Wheel jack. Wheel jack. Come to the bottom and no sad child. Sad child. And this is licensed under official product of Lancia. So yeah, it's just a basic box just like the other max pieces he can do this with Optimus do that comes with accessories blah 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 so that is it for the packaging folks so moving right along here we got Wheeljack in his nice vehicle mode so very cool very G1 accurate vehicle mode going on here it is very amazing of what happens when masterpiece people do it so very awesome so I might get exhaust but again what could you do guys tires roll he rolls good and there's a there's that little push push button on top here you can actually post a cannon in on top I do believe you can't I don't think you can post a weapon up on top but on the bottom here you got a little notch right right in here there's that little tab there and this will tab in the gun will tab in if it, if it 
can. Come on, there we go. And I'll be an extra exhaust. So, okay. And you can't carry this in vehicle mode. So, enough said. So, for size comparison, let's bring in something I just got the other day from my work. I want to see if you guys would leave some comments in the description below. See if you want me to do a review of this. It is a die cast model of an Atlas II military telehandler. This thing raises up and everything. Telescopes out. Very awesome. So you can tell how big that is compared to a masterpiece. So, enough said. Set that heavy guy off to the side. It's all die cast and a little bit of plastic. So, enough said. Let's bring in Combiner Wars Motor Master for size comparison. There we go. And Transformers Universe or Generations Drift. So you can see how they stack up. Very good. That's when deluxes were awesome. Now deluxes just suck. But again, what could you do? So moving right along, guys. Unpeg that. The first first thing in transformation, what you want to do here is come to the side here and untab the doors from each side. Untab them like that. Then you want to don't break them in half. <laughs> it's pretty much like that. You split that. Unpeg the door. You know, unclip. You know move down. Do the same thing on this side. I thought I was going to break him whenever I got it. It's just he's a stiff joint. What you want to do here with this is move these out of the way for right now. Come in here and lift up the car hood just a little bit here just to untap the feet. Extend the legs down like so. Rotate his foot up and bend it at the double knee joint right so tab this in the bottom the same thing here double joint make sure it's tabbed in rotate that around there's a little nudge, nudge on in underneath his leg here if you can see it this little tabs gonna tab right in so and now you want to rotate this piece out rotate that door down and this hole here in that port line it up do the same thing on this side like so now we got the legs now what you want to do is grab the legs together pull this out this whole assembly comes forward and it'll tab into place and there we got the chest and the legs. So you want to come here, unpeg the gun from the car. Come to the top here, you want to unpeg the back section of the car here. What you want to do is split the car rear end in half. And this section will roll back. At the same time, you want to remove these pieces back here. Untab them. From that black piece back here, rotate them up and bend them up like so. Fold that black piece back underneath this down. You want to rotate this in. Now make sure the tires just go right in there for clearance. Then there's this double hinge right here. This double hinge I really hate about this figure. The only gripe I hate about this figure. Gotta get it bent just right. And before we go any further, split the chest in half here. Reach in and grab wheel jack's head. Close it up. Come to the back here, split the arms open like so. And there's this little ridge right here and this little divot right here. We just line right up in here. So, line that up in there. 
And like I said, that double hinged backpack joint is really a pain in the butt. You just gotta make sure there we go you're supposed to put this piece in there and bend it it's supposed to go through the whole cab section there we go it's just a little tricky it's all good now we get to those hands what you want to do is rotate the Lancia spoiler here you want to rotate this out like so bend the hand down Rotate it up. Oh, other direction. You got one hand. Do the same thing on this side. Rotate it. Like so. And now we got Jackie in his robot mode. And last but not least, there's this black clip here that clips into the, his butt or his back. This clips in. And there we go, guys. We got Masterpiece Wheeljack in his robot mood. So, very cool. So, he can hold his gun. Mine, it's a little stiff to get it in. There we go. The shoulder can, you can have it on this side. Or the other side. There's like these holes right here for ports for weapons. And give him his lunchbox or toolbox, whatever you guys want to call it. And he's ready to go to work. Now we got Masterpiece Wheeljack in his robot mode. A very awesome figure. Takara really hit it home run out of the ballpark for this figure. So, yeah, very awesome. So, besides Star Saber coming up here soon, I can't wait till they get Trax. Trax is one of my favorite other Autobots because he was a very different unique car he actually flew in the original series so can't wait to get that so all that good stuff so for a size comparison for him let's bring in another masterpiece scale figure I really love this figure still it's Toy World Orion so IDW Optimus Prime of course so, see how he scales with him. Very cool. And for the heck of it, let's bring in my newest edition that I got the other week from SirToys.com. Super Build Tiger. So, four construction guys into one. Very cool. So, if anybody wants me to do that Super Build Tiger, leave comments down in the description below. But, you know, I will do it anyway because I love the Brave series. So, again, what could you do? So, getting the details on this guy. Very nice blue eyes. Very nice head sculpt. Very cool. Autobot logo. When I first thought I seen the figure, I thought the Autobot logo flipped around and, match, and this matches up with the pinstripes but it doesn't so reaper labels will fix that I'm sure they will so enough said and I'm sure they'll fix all that white all the gap white that they can get rid of there so I haven't really looked at reaper labels for a long time ever since I put Orion stickers on them so the toy with Orions so enough said so this is the review of Transformers Masterpiece MP, I do believe, MP20. MP20, Wheeljack, and this is Transaron38 talking again. Don't forget to rate and Instagram comment on any videos I do. And keep a lookout for any new videos headed your way. Also, check me out on Instagram and Twitter, all that good stuff. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. All those new pictures is posted every day if I get a chance. So, just random stuff I do. So... Don't forget to check out the gaming PC, Prime John 1, Might Mouse 74, and Cow Pigeon 8. All those stuff will be down in the description below. So this is Transaron3 talking again. Have an awesome day.